I'm Alana and this is Matt from Project Triforce and this giant box in front of us right here is the Horizon Zero Dawn Thunderjaw collection that we're going to open up for you right now. So we have it out of the box. This is a Thunderjaw, which is one of the enemies in Horizon Zero Dawn. I think it's pretty safe to say that based on Looks the trailers like and everything we've seen. This is incredibly cool. Uh, what can you tell me about it? Like, how is it made? What's it made out of? Yeah, how so, heavy is it? Uh, it? It definitely weighs a few pounds. I know yeah. I was opening it, but if you want to take a, take a look at it, it's about seven to eight okay. pounds. Um, Solid. It, it is created out of a combination of uh, PVC, PVC and ABS type materials, okay. uh, hand painted, Obviously, you could see the details of the brush metal. Yeah, I was thinking I really, really love the paintwork on this. It's also, it looks really intricate. There's some like tiny, tiny parts of orange that is still really, really neatly painted. A whole bunch of decals, because we wanted to be 100% accurate yeah. to what you see a uh, Thunderjaw and how you face him or her. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> in game, it's a robot. <laughs> so uh, this stands pretty tall from the top of the antennas mm -hmm. down here to the bottom underneath. It's approximately uh, 14 to 15 inches. Obviously, it's about six to seven pounds, but uh, as you said, it is incredible incredibly detailed. We worked hand in hand with Sony mm -hmm. and the team over at Guerrilla Games to make sure that this is the most realistic uh, and in-game accurate version of Thunderjaw out there on the market. Basically the closest thing you are going to get to a real life Thunderjaw right here. Uh, he would be big in real life. Oh, <laughs> much bigger. We should mention that. <laughs> yeah, we still got a few other things. The whole Thunderjaw collection comes with obviously Thunderjaw himself mm -hmm. and a few other uh, secondary items. Uh, first one that I want to show also kind of big, mm -hmm. is an in-game map. Ooh. So when you're playing the game, trying to find out different areas, uh, not gonna spoil certain type of areas, <laughs> but uh, it is cloth, so you wow. can put it up on the wall. That's it is really high a quality. nice size. That's beautiful. Very detailed. It's nice and shiny. I don't know shiny. if I'm in shot or not, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely shows um, all different types of areas where you're gonna be going to in-game what you're going to be traversing, and uh, probably some you know, hidden parts also. It's good to see there are a lot of different kinds of environments here that I didn't realize. Like, we've got snowy over here, that looks like a desert, that looks like kind of a forest over there, so... Well, we get to different. find out in about a month what all those are like. Find out pretty soon. <laughs> so that's the map, here you know, the map. take a look. As you know, when we build these out, we want to put some fan art in there as well. So we have two pieces that we've seen before out on the market, which are lithographs. Mm -hmm. So these are pieces that are concept art you can put on your wall, put some other Triforce memorabilia lithograph that you may have purchased <laughs> before. So these are basically just really high quality prints. Um, yep. Yeah, I, I do recognize both of these. These are really beautiful images. And actually, this Aloy is both. part of the packaging too, part oh, of the retail wow. box. That's really yep. cool comes in a protective case also with a nice it's little very, embossing very section on there. Very, very nice. Even a nice envelope, gotta respect that. Put effort into the envelopes. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, is her focus earpiece. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen a little bit this from this from in-game footage. Yes. Um, really don't know exactly everything that's detailed or what's gonna be going on with it, but uh -huh. we wanted to bring it out there because we thought it was a really cool piece that shows when she's uh, interacting yep. with the different machines. Yeah. And seemingly, uh, sometimes people back at her sort of tribe, I guess? I don't know, we'll find out, I guess, but... Find out in a couple of weeks when the yeah, game comes out. Yeah, this is uh, really neat. And yeah, we talked about it before, almost looks like a little guitar pick. I don't know if I would use it for that. A little bit bigger than that. Yeah. I don't know if, what it is. It's, a, it's an earpiece, but yeah. uh, it really completes the collection. You're, you're going a little bit into the character of Aloy herself. Mm -hmm. You got some art for the game for, for fans that are going to be playing this because it's on everyone's most anticipated 2017 Absolutely. game. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, in-game map, so another in-game piece is you have two in-game pieces, and then obviously the Coup de Grave and all is uh, Thunderjaw himself or herself. Yeah. I, I love this. I love the color. The attention to detail is, is awesome. This is something that I definitely want to own. So it should be mentioned, this isn't a collector's edition. It doesn't come with the game. It's kind of like an add-on for collectors who really want to get something extra, but it does come out day and date with the game. Yes, February 28th in the US, a couple of days later overseas. Mm -hmm. You want to pre-order this today or pick it up the day of the game, you'll absolutely be able to do it. So it does come out on the day. We will leave a link uh, to places you can buy it or a bunch of different outlets on the screen right now and in the description below for you guys. Uh, thank you so much, Matt. This is so awesome and I cannot wait to get my hands on one. How much is it? Yes, it is $200. You get all this, the lovely retail box, Thunderjaw, lithographs, focus earpiece, and the map, map for $200. Awesome. I cannot wait to get mine. Oh, you'll be getting yours soon. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much.